backwards. It won't. You, you, you are now listening to Lower Road Radio. Let's get it. What? Matt Sinagra, When the Walls Fell. This is Dan Owings coming at you another time for Lower Road Radio from Daffy Down Studios. We're going to talk about that in just a second, but before we do, I'm joined as always by my co host, Jason. Do you ever wish your name was longer? You know, like Jason Nuthy or something like that. You know, yeah. you could shorten it. There's really no great way. I guess Jay. People call me Jay. People call you Jay? Some people I've call me I've never Jay. heard anyone call you Jay. People at work sometimes call me Jay. Really? Yeah. How about Jay Walking? We'll talk about that on another episode. <laughs> Jesse's here. Doing I'm all zinned up. Zinned up? Yep. I just came from Zimbabwe. No. Anyone want to zen? Jason, and do you want to zen? You're fired. Um, no. What is it? Preston is what here. What is it, It's It's the nicotine pouch. You oh, I would love up. one. You yeah, want one? Actually, yeah. I'm going to give him a nicotine pouch. Oh, you're going to break everything. When Are you trying to stand up? Yeah, I'll be, <laughs> I'll be careful. <laughs> so many things are going to fall to the ground. It's just... Okay, so Jesse, uh, Zen, not a sponsor no. of Lower Road and Nor Radio. should anyone... We think it's a bad idea. I don't think one oh. should... I think nicotine's a bad habit. How do it, I do this? Just put it under my lip? <laughs> Here's hoping Jason throws up by the end of the episode. How do I do he a nicotine, might. guys? <laughs> How do I do? <laughs> I'm going to get drunk on nicotine. All right. <laughs> Preston's here. Uh, he's the czar of information. And uh, Stella is on the ones and the zeros. Um, I don't need nicotine because I get high on life. <laughs> uh, Jason, we're in the Daffy Down studios today. Is there a flavor to this? Uh, yes, cool mint. Oh, okay, I, cool <laughs> mint. I like cool mint. I like winter green. Oh, listen, Ooh, if you can get the winter get, green yeah. zens, pretty strong. Oh, really? I'm Stronger a big fan Kermit. of winter green. I don't know what it is, but I think I know what it is. I don't like. I don't know. Is winter green naturally? Does anyone harvest winter green naturally? I think off is, of a pine tree. Is 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 it at the taste of a pine tree? I think so. Yeah. Hmm. If you put the pine needles in a tea mm-hmm. over a fire, that's I've what, seen people do that on the internet, and it looks amazing. Yeah. Uh, DaffyDown.com, enter Lower Road Radio in the promo code, checkout check yeah. thing, and you'll get 15% off on your purchase. We, uh, wanna, uh, we're we going to be the models. We're modeling the hats today. Uh, thank you to Daffy Down for uh, sponsoring the show. And uh, Is there an opening? I'm just ripping it you open. You should rip that bad boy. And, and here Preston has one, too. Preston's got one, too. There it is. Daffy Down. I don't know. Stella, can we? do you got that? I don't know if you can see it. It's a good looking hat. Mine looks like Jesse's. You're welcome. Preston's has more of an earthy tone. Yeah, yeah. And Jason's is like you guys are hat buddies. We're hat Preston. buddies. You and and you and Jesse are hat <laughs> Me buddies. And Jesse. That's great. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to make mine <laughs> a little bit. So bigger. yeah, let's see if it comes big enough for Jason's dome. Um, yeah, it's a quality hat. I like the snaps. Dude, the Richardson 112s are the best hats. I love okay. a Richardson. How's that look? It's a Richardson 112. Do, do I look cool? It's a good look for you. Yeah. Is it? It's a, okay, I got to go one more. Yeah, that's a, you know, I don't like, uh, Did you, I don't like are getting you a two a, button. It's a two button, I think. I don't like getting a snap back that is, you know, like the snap when it feels cheap. Yeah. You know what I'm talking like, about? Yeah. And it feels like five minutes, this thing's going to yeah. break. And, uh, that's it, a quality snap. It's a quality snap. It's a quality hat. It's not coming off my head. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Feels good. Looks good. And you know what I love most about these, especially right now, mm-hmm. is it makes Preston look less gay. Less. Preston looks like he could be like B- a real maybe man. Like bye. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your manhood increased by fifteen <laughs> percent. If you want to look less gay, go to <laughs> DaffyDown.com. Guaranteed. Unless you're into that sort of thing. Well. My, my my Thursdays could not be more wildly <laughs> just <laughs> different. <laughs> but you know what? We're complicated people. You know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Jason, we're here uh, to talk about the stuff that you want to hear. Now, if you're listening or watching, you might have some level of disappointment. You might be waited with. Waiting with bated breath mm. uh, because you you heard well we made promises we made promises that Marion County Prosecutor Ray Grogan was going to be on the show and most politicians make lots of promises that's true that's one of the commonalities between all politicians now uh, Ray has uh, explained to us that his family's sick not him not him no so I don't know what he like <laughs> how sick could they be <laughs> you know what I mean like is he like 
you know. Well, the question is, did he go to work today? Yeah. Because if he went to work today, mm-hmm. he could come to the podcast. He went to call work today. Ask. Yeah. Yeah. He should probably get him vaccinated um, <laughs> for everything. Uh, so, uh, but that Ray's going to be another episode. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to make promises anymore. You know, if they could make the vaccine taste like chocolate brownie or mac and cheese or, or something. Green. Or what? Or wintergreen. Why I would, think people would voluntarily take it. I think, Okay. I mean, if you want mac and cheese, you just eat mac and cheese. It's not that hard. <laughs> but you know? if I could have a mac and cheese vaccine, I might do that. Or honestly, what if, if I could have could a get, donut vaccine. What if you could get a donut vaccine, though, Though what it is, is it was like all of the effects of the donut will, won't affect you negatively. Like you could eat as many donuts oh, as I you want. Oh, I would take that in a heartbeat. What if it was going to shorten your life by 10 years? Deal. <laughs> Each donut? <laughs> no, no, no. The vaccine. Oh, the vaccine. The vaccine. Like, it shortens my life by 10 years, but, but you, I can eat donuts without And it's basically like eating broccoli. Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah. If I could, yeah. If donuts could be good for me. Yeah. Donuts. Yeah. It works in reverse. Right. And all of a sudden it's like, all you got to do is eat donuts. I would take that. I could eat donuts Every single day. I plan on living to about 150, 160. Uh-huh. So 10 years off of that, 130, 140, I could do it. Whatever. All I'm right. telling you, I got a little thing going on here. Yeah. yeah so you pop, did you pop both of them? Yeah. All right. You're brave. I, well, I didn't know. I My uh, drug of choice <laughs> is caffeine. I love is caffeine. Is caffeine a drug? Yes. Yeah. It's just as much a drug as nicotine. Where do you get those pouches at? Gas stations okay. all across so, America. Uh, fr- <laughs> <laughs> friend sponsor. Friend of the show. I might have to spit these out. Yeah, <laughs> maybe you should. You're not. Are my <laughs> eyes dilated? Dude, is, your bug. face is dilated. <laughs> Listen, what you can do, take them out for a couple sec, for a little bit, and then just pop them back in. They'll be good. I might just ride this out. So fr- friend of the show, Tim Mullins. Uh, I was talking to him a f- couple months ago. And uh, I said, I really want to get an espresso machine. Yeah. And he was like, you know, I got one and I never use it. Mm. He said, I just, I just, he's like, I don't know. I just, it's just too much work. And so we got an espresso and it's just easy to pop in the pod. And, yeah. you know, and I was like, oh man, I was like, can you, would you want to sell your espresso machine to yeah. me? And he, he gave it to me, Jason. Oh. So he gave me an espresso machine. So Tim, if you're Did watching. Did he give it to the show? Sure. So, um, so, uh, so, so Tim, if you're watching, thank you. Uh, we got it going, uh, about a week ago, uh, uh, six days ago. Yeah. And I'm, I'm drinking a double shot now. Mm. Um, I probably had six (laughs) today. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about today, but I've had a lot more than is good for me. But it's very good. We're dialing it in. Yeah. We're di- I've watched a lot of videos about dialing in my espresso. Michaela's a barista. She's yeah. make it. She made this one for me. Mm. It's delicious. And thank you uh, for the uh, espresso. And you didn't offer us any. No. Did Jason, you you're going to be dialed in real quick. Critic. Every time I've ever offered you coffee, you're like, I'm going to drink your coffee this late. Like, you always say that. I and espresso is even more I would do caffeine. It. I'd do it. Do you I'd want do the rest it. of this? No, nah, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't need Jeez. anything else right now, Dan. All right. Um, so what are we going to talk about tonight, Jason? Okay. Uh, we had one request. Yes. I did not put it out there, Mm -hmm. but, uh, people know that we record once a week. Yeah. So throughout the week, they'll drop things like do this, do this, ask this dance monkey, dance monkey. And we dance. That's what we do. We will dance. We will dance. And, uh, we got a message from Carol, friend of the show, Carol, Uh the one who is over 50. Because there are no Carols under 50. That's true. Right. There All are. Carols are old. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not calling Carol old, but she's plus 50. Yeah. She knows how old she is. She knows how old she is. Carol said, please draw a picture of what you think giblets looks like. The person, not the thing. Well, not the food. Well, okay. well I got to draw a new picture then. <laughs> <laughs> I just so, took a picture. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so I'm going to reveal this? my picture to the camera here. Uh-huh. Let's see if this works. So that's what you think giblets looks like. This is not great audio, so let's do this quickly because oh, a lot of people listen to us. Oh, I didn't mm-hmm. even think about that. Yeah. So if you want to see the picture, go to we'll post YouTube. them on X. Can we can we post them on? Yeah, X? I'll post yeah. them on X. Okay, so we'll post them on X. You can see everybody's picture. Jesse, so, do you want to show the camera? Jesse's is pretty good. Yeah, so it's inspired. Giblets is my boy. You guys all, I think, did him dirty. Mm-hmm. So I kind of have him looking like <laughs> handsome Squidward mm-hmm. from SpongeBob because, you know, he's got a six pack here and birds of a feather mm-hmm. flock together. Yeah. Me and Giblets were boys. So yeah. I've just yeah. got to imagine 
He's a good looking dude. Yeah. Preston's is very good. It has a Ren and Stimpy vibe. He's got some like fluid coming out of his nose, a pimple, uh, you know, kind of like weird little chin hairs. And mine, just like I did mine on my laptop today. Um, this is Microsoft Paint, uh, basically. So <laughs> you'll see the eyes are perfect circles because I just did the circle thing, you know. So um, and I gave him blue eyes and uh, kind of a Bart Simpson haircut. Am I the only one that gave him a beard? I, I think mean, he's a bearded man. I don't Mine know. He's kind of a beard. I've never interacted St- with Giblets. Stubble. Oh, I've, yeah, you got stubble going on. I've never See. written uh, him. I've never spoken to him. Um, so, I think I probably win. Yeah, you win. All right, what else you want to talk about? Uh, I got lots of stuff. Let me go to my notes. Do you not have any questions from X or anything? No, no, okay. no, that was it. Um, so earlier tonight, I had to pick up a couple things from the grocery store. My wife texted me, we need milk. Bread, half and half, and peanut butter. Milk, bread, half and half, and peanut butter. Yeah, so okay. I picked up the it's milk. It's a pretty bread. standard. Pretty I got standard. milk, eggs, and fabric stuff. Yeah, it's basically that. Uh huh. Well, we had to get peanut butter because we've been out of peanut butter for like four or five days. Generic? Yeah. <laughs> the cheap stuff. I'm buying the cheap stuff. Can I just say how expensive peanut butter is? I know. Everything's expensive. We're now. holy yeah. cow. That's not the. That's I'm not, sorry. That's so, anyways, we've been without peanut butter for a week. Basically. Oh. It's like a killer in my house because we, we do lots of yeah. peanut butter. Mm-hmm. I had a guy at work say, make a hot chocolate with a spoonful of peanut butter. Come on. It's a Reese's cup. Yeah. Yeah. In a I want to try it. Yeah, it's in a Reese's cup. Reese's cup of cup. Reese's chocolate. cup, cup, cup. So two or three days ago, I go to make a peanut butter and jelly. I get my bread. I get the jelly on there, and I go to get the peanut butter. We are out. Dun, dun, dun. So I chose butter. Good choice. Butter and jelly. Sandwich, it was it's delicious. Almost superior to peanut butter. In some ways, I don't want to besmirch. I like that word. I don't want to besmirch yeah. peanut butter, but good butter, good jelly, yeah. good bread. Do you do the salted good or unsalted? God, that's a good sandwich. What? Salted or unsalted? I salted. All day. All day. It yeah. enhances the flavor. Here's the thing this whole unsalted butter thing, it's a total, it's stupid. All butter should have salt. Yes. They say, oh, it's for baking. I always use salted butter for baking, and it turns out pretty good. Okay? So <laughs> well, I don't Is there a purpose to use unsalted butter? Yeah, they say for baking. You should use unsalted oh, no. butter. I always use salted. Come on. Yeah, come on. Of course. All right. That's uh, my thing. The butter I've got and more jelly sandwich. Yeah, what other, what other do you put on that? Does, okay, does this, does this make me a bad husband? Yes. Okay. No, no, I'm not no. saying, of, I'm, of course you think I'm a bad husband. Obviously. Should we get Erica down here? We could ask her. She doesn't want to. Yes, Dan. She doesn't want to be involved. <laughs> Terrible. But does this does this make me a bad husband? The fact that um, I didn't recognize. Well, I'll just I'll just tell you the story. So today, Erica and I are sitting at the coffee shop. As, as you, you do. do. And uh, I'm drinking my. Uh, at the time, I was drinking tea. Mm. Actually, I was feeling a little. Earl Grey. British. Uh, and it was some kind of. I said, "Here's what I said, Jason. You ready for this? I'm ready." At my local coffee shop, I I, I looked up at Erica. I said, "You know what?" I feel like I'm. Like, I feel like I should have some tea. Mm. I'm in a tea mood. She's yeah. like, "Well, what do you want? What kind of tea you want?" I yeah. said, "You go up there and you tell them. Ooh. Make me something fancy. Oh, a fancy I don't care tea. what it is. Yeah, you make me something fancy. A fancy tea. I want a fancy tea. Cream. You put some cinnamon on top of it. You yeah. know, just go crazy. Fancy. And it's some kind of like was like maple pecan tea or something. I don't know. It was amazing. And uh, so I'm drinking tea. I'm talking to Erica, and uh, she pulls up. Uh, Facebook, which she never looks at Facebook. I pulled up Facebook on her phone the other day to check something. She had 75 notifications. It was ridiculous. So, but she pulled up Facebook and memories came up and she's like, oh, look at this. Yeah. Remember this? And I was like, what's a, what's a, what, what is that? And she's like, and she's like, oh, she's like, this was 11 years ago. Oh man. And I was like, what, what is it? And she's like, it's a fruit pizza. A fruit pizza. She's like, remember when I made this fruit pizza? And I was like, I'm supposed to remember a fruit pizza that you made 11 years ago? I would. <laughs> <laughs> I How mean, often do you eat a fruit pizza? Um, Preston eats I it like three times a week. I a good amount of fruit pizza. I like fruit pizza. Okay. First of all, fruit pizza is just a sugar cookie <laughs> with <laughs> cream cheese frosting and uh, fruit on top. We're going to need mm. some of this next week. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I can't eat it anymore, but it's amazing. And I was like, no, I don't. 
I don't remember yeah. something you made like 11 years 11 ago. 11 years ago. Yeah. No, I don't. And she's like, you don't remember that? I'm like, how? What? No, I don't remember that. So does that does that make me a yes. bad husband? Yeah. I don't no, think the, the not remembering, mem- remembering it makes you a bad husband. Mm-hmm. I think... What makes you a bad husband? You should be like, oh, oh yeah, I remember that. Dude, that, that was so, so good. It's yeah. the truth so that makes good. me a bad husband. It's telling yes. the truth. Yes, no, you have to I need lie more for, lying. for good marriage. You have to lie. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I think all marriages are built on a couple good lies. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Just a couple really good lies. I mean, not sustainable. Sustainable mm-hmm. lies. Yeah. Yeah. If you believe it, <laughs> it's not true. Wait, a <laughs> it's not a lie. <laughs> it's not a lie. That's right. Okay. I believe lots of things. So I just I don't know. That's that's all I got there. Okay. <laughs> we are flying through. But I so, got a couple really good things, Jason. Uh, so the other day, mm-hmm. I had to borrow your snake. You did. Little drain, sink drain mm-hmm. thingy. Yeah. And uh, so swung by, picked it up. And Dan's like, uh, why do you need the snake? I said, well, my my uh, sink has wax in it. Mm-hmm. He goes, how did your sink get wax in it? Well, let me explain. A couple days ago. And I haven't heard the story. You haven't heard the Although story. I saved I it. Although I lent you the snake, I said, "I said what happened?" And you're like, "Well," and I was like, "Bub bub bub." Save it for the show. Save it for the show. Yeah. So get out of my face. <coughs> we don't talk in real life. Hardly ever. Nor should we. Mm-mm. So uh, last week, Shelby goes to do her nighttime routine, as you do, whatever that is. Mm-hmm. I don't know. The door closes. She's in there for about 15 minutes. It's a routine, and she comes out. Mm-hmm. Well, she came out, and the sink was full. Mm. And she goes, Jason, what's going on? Jason. I'm like, I don't know. What did you do? Exactly. Because uh-huh. sometimes, like, I what trimmed you... up my beard recently. Sure. And sometimes extra hair gets down it in happens. there. It happens. Mm-hmm. You know? So I've, I've plugged up the sink with hair before. It happens. That's easy. You get easy. that right out. Well, this wasn't going down. Now, I took the little plunger thing. We have a little sink plunger. Mm-hmm. I tried to get it. Could not get it out. Did you try b- boiling water? No. Mm-hmm. I don't want to damage any seals or... Mm. Because you, you pour boiling water the down the sink, you damage the seals. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to damage the seals. I'm looking at it, mm-hmm. and I see there's a candle okay. beside the sink. That's not, you know. Well, we okay. have a candle in the back. I've got four boys. You're very pro-candle. Uh, of all the people I know, I might be the most pro-candle. You're, people mm-hmm. like you are keeping the candle industry afloat. Yeah. Now, I don't do that Yankee candle stuff. No. That's way too expensive. Oh, Savannah does the Crossroads, which are more expensive than Yankee. I don't even know what that is. I like a candle with a wooden wick. A wood wicks. Oh, yeah. man. And they crackle. Yeah. If you listen real close. A wood wick candle? Come on. What are we talking about? <laughs> Candles. I notice that uh, the bottom of the wick uh-huh. had not been lit. Huh. Meaning the top was, the bottom huh. wasn't. Somebody. There's some real Matlock kind of yeah. Perry Mason detective work you're doing there. Yeah. Someone. It's like CSI. Took wax mm-hmm. from that candle yeah. when it was hot yeah. and poured it down the sink. <laughs> sure. I blame Stella. That checks out. So I call all the boys down. Yeah. Well, before I did that, I talked to them individually. Mm. Did you do this? No. 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 Four times. Four okay. boys. All right. Because I know it wasn't me and Shelby, and Stella doesn't live with us anymore. Sure. She could sounds be, like something Stella would have done she when could she was be little, though. Showing up, just pouring <laughs> random. Pouring wax when you're down gone. the sink. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to love this. <laughs> Every time they brush your teeth, it can smell like a candle. That's not a bad. They're the worst things. Yeah. Anyway. So, uh, so they all denied it. Okay. So I thought, okay, someone's lying. Yeah. So I call all four boys down. I line them up. Mm-hmm. Shelby and I are sitting there. I said, we did not do this. Mm. One of you did this. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. No, I hear it. I hear you. So as I questioned them individually, Mm -hmm. they all denied it. But Gideon went one step further. Oh, okay. Gideon says. He would. He goes, "Uh, I don't remember pouring Mm -hmm. wax down the sink. That's That's it. That was his first comment. Plausible deniability. And I said, wait. You don't remember uh-huh. pouring wax down the sink. No, I don't remember Gideon doing knows that. Himself. He knows himself. He knows there's stuff that he does all the time that he doesn't remember. Very impulsive. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I said, okay, stop. Are you lying to me? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. So you don't remember doing it? No. He goes, what is candle wax? I said, you don't know what candle wax is? Yeah. She's sure. like, no. I said, when you have a candle and you let it and uh-huh. there's liquid wax in there? Yeah. You don't remember? No, I don't remember doing that. Mm-hmm. So I thought for sure it's Gideon. By the way, Gideon's on my volleyball team. Mm. Competitive. It's a league. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't remember playing. Very athletic. 
Uh, he's decided that jump serving is for him. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, whatever. He hasn't gotten one over yet on a jump <laughs> serve, but he loves to do it. So he loves to jump. Yeah, and, and he, serve. Uh, somewhere he saw somebody jump serve, and so he jump serves. Yeah, I gotta take this nicotine out. <laughs> how how long do you typically leave it in? Yeah, a while. Tolerance. I might come back to it. Yeah, I, I'd advise coming back to it. Okay, you feel better the second go round. Okay. So that is one of the dumber things. I don't know. See how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> so I call all four boys down, uh-huh. and I'm sure that it's Gideon at this point. I sure. know that it's Gideon. Come on, yeah, because I know it's Gideon. Giving you little outs. Yeah, yeah. So I line all four boys up. It wasn't me and mommy. Mm-hmm. It was one of you. Mm-hmm. I need one of you to confess right now. Okay. And they're all looking at me mm-hmm. like. All yeah. serious. Yeah, yeah, Because, like, yeah. this is a big deal. Sure. Someone poured wax down the sink. You can't just go pouring wax down sinks, Jason. No. They're all looking at me, and I said it again. Uh-huh. One of you did this. Sure. I need one of you to confess. Of course. And I'm looking at Gideon, square in the eyes, because mm-hmm. I'm waiting for him to do it. Off to the side, I see Teddy raise his hand. Oh. That would have been my guess from the beginning. Teddy. It was Teddy. And so I said, okay, you guys go upstairs. Gideon, come here, sit down. Gideon? Yeah. Okay. I release the other boys. Uh huh. I sit Gideon down. I'm like, why would you answer like that? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, listen, I'm upset at Teddy. I'll talk to him later. I'm more upset at you. Yeah. You don't know how to answer a question. Yeah. What happens when you're driving down the road, you get pulled over, you got two or three friends in the car, they find some weed mm-hmm. and they say, <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I love how the framing of the question is an inevitability. It's <laughs> what happens when this yeah. happens. Yeah. It's not like, Crazy example. No, something it's going like to happen this. eventually. <laughs> okay. It's right. going to happen. Sure. Well, sure. weed is now legal in Ohio, but yeah, you know, I wasn't going to tell him that. <laughs> so uh, I said, "What happens when you're in the car and you get pulled over and the cop finds weed in your car and mm-hmm. you said, who put that weed in that car?" And you said, "I don't remember putting the weed remember. in the car." Get I'm like, out. "They're not going to believe that." Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is weed? I don't even know what weed <laughs> is. They're not going to believe it. Mm-hmm. You have to learn how to answer a question. Yeah. Truthfully. As best as possible, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you well, don't I, answer a question. Jason, I think he was answering as best as possible. I think, I think somewhere in his mind, he was like, you know, there's a five percent chance. <laughs> yeah. He was sleepwalking that I did this, yeah. and yeah. they have video of it, and he's just trying to entrap me. So I'm gonna give myself an out because yeah. I might have done it. <laughs> that happens with me sometimes when I fart. I'll just smell something. I'll be like, did you, Savan? Did you fart? No, no. And then after I ask everyone, I'm like, wait a minute, did I fart? <laughs> I have to think about it sometimes. Mm-hmm. I I've get answered, where Gideon's coming from. I've answered that yeah. question I, that way. Did you fart? I don't think so. I don't, I don't remember farting. I don't remember. But Wouldn't yeah. put it past myself. It happens all the time. So speaking of farting. So I'm sorry. Do you have more to then, that? Then you called Teddy down and, and you... And no. You, you never got... There's no backstory to <laughs> no. why he did it? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm not worried about Teddy. I just told Teddy not to do it again. I was mad at Gideon. <laughs> as I should be. Yeah. Because he answered wrong. Sure. Teddy at least held up the lie for a while. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, you know, did his best. So I got the snake out, I drained it. Everything's good. Yeah. Speaking of farts, I walk in the building today to the studios. The Daffy Down Studios. The Daffy Down Studios. And uh, as soon as I walk through the door, I'm like, oh. <laughs> and the word that came to mind, I don't know if you've used this word in a oh, while. Putrid. No. Oh. It's even better. Mustardy. No. <laughs> the whole lobby, the whole lobby smelled like butt cheese. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh-huh. When's the last time you used the word butt cheese? It's been a while, if ever, but it's a <laughs> descriptive word. I feel like I know what it smells like. Yeah. So we came upstairs mm-hmm. and I walk in and I said, did you guys smell that in the lobby mm-hmm. down there? And they all look at me and they're like, Erica's like, does it smell down there? I said, yeah, it smells like butt cheese. Yeah. And she instantly is like, that's not a word. I'm like, that is a word. She goes, yeah. no, that's two words. I said, no, mm-hmm. that's one word. That's a compound word, butt cheese. That's one word, butt cheese. Are we going to Google it? Or? Oh, I already no. did. We already, already did. It turns out it's not a real word. Oh. But. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Jesse <Jeez. laughs> gets a goofy grin on his face. He's like, that still smells. <laughs> I smelled it. Are you serious? <laughs> I thought you my came building in 20 <laughs> minutes later. Did I you? thought my building stunk. <laughs> it smells like butt cheese. My building stinks. <laughs> I farted the sometimes, second I walked in the store. Sm- that was awful. You For 20 to- minutes, the whole lobby <laughs> smelled like butt cheese. need to stop the show and take Jesse to the emergency room. He is death. I imagine is sitting imminent. beside him. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every show. I know, I know. I <laughs> when feel he sorry said for it you. smelled, I just started laughing. I was like, what? I said, the first set of stairs? And he's like, yes. Like, it was bad. It hit me. I was like, <laughs> oh, man. Because sometimes, <laughs> there have oh, been a couple man. of times in my building where there was like a sewer pipe that was like exposed. And the, so the, yeah. the guy that owns the building had to like figure it out or whatever because it was like a sewer smell in the building. And you're getting ready to like text A him. lot of construction. Yeah. I honestly was like, I think I need to contact him and tell him the building stinks. <laughs> I, I was like this. I probably would have done it. I was like this close to doing it. I might have still done it later. But, you know, I, I want to say it's good to know, I guess, <laughs> that it was Jesse and it wasn't my building that stinks. But Listen, if it still stinks when we go back down after this, there's no way that that's still from me. No, it is. No. A hundred percent. We'll take it to the ER. After it was fact. substantial. <laughs> I've, um, I, you know, I've been going to um, the gym it, okay. lately. And I, I am not a, uh, I enjoy music a lot. I listen to music every day mm. for I mean, I probably listen to minimum one hour as much as five hours of music a day. No, sometimes more, depending on why I'm listening to it. So I listen to a lot of music. I listen to a lot of instrumental stuff. I listen to a lot of older stuff. Like Mumford and Sons? Um, I Sometimes I'll listen to Mumford and Sons. I'm in the top 0.5% um, and then I know, Spotify yes, users. I know, it's a weird <laughs> brag. And then I'm also... <laughs> I'm also, I listen to some, um, uh, you know, I like a lot of singer-songwriter stuff. Like the current stuff, it's like kind of more niche, um, you know, Americana type folk. music, things like yeah. that. Kind of folky. Um, so it's been a long time since I was familiar with the current popular music. Mm-hmm. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like since we went to the pool basically when yeah. we were kids like i i don't know 1987 even when i was like in high school i wasn't listening to popular like, straight up what was straight up now tell me don't you remember me forever, forever. Oh, oh, oh oh so um i <laughs> i don't really so i i'll have to admit ignorance here I'm that's not, the number one pool song by the way oh well, i don't know we've done that. this before but i think it's in it's the air tonight up. but oh that's pretty good too yeah i think it's getting hot in here no, no, yes. that's the, not our generation. No, um, Paula Abdul, straight up. That's that's pretty song. good. I mean, that was still I'll, playing when I was in the pool, listen, so that's definitely on the list. I'll take, I'll, I'll fight you on this because I think Phil Collins in the air tonight is the iconic. Pool if you song. can jump off the diving board as yeah. the, <laughs> I can feel it. So I don't really, and I'll admit ignorance. Um, uh, I don't really know popular music what's popular now or 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 what's been popular for the last 20 years maybe 30 yeah um but now i have been exposed to it yeah because at the gym they're just blaring this uh, music yeah. now mostly i have my headphones in but not all the time and um doggone it jason um now maybe maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong but i gotta tell you i think most of these songs are about sex and drugs mm-hmm. what yeah I'm. No way. I really feel like they are. And wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Sex and drugs. Sometimes and or. You know. Oh yeah. Uh, sometimes both. But I'm listening to lyrics. I'm like, mm, I think this is a naughty song. <laughs> <laughs> and it seems like all of them are about that. Naughty. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, sex doesn't have to be Do, naughty. Am I? Am I? You know, maybe my mind's. Are they? Are they am I right? Are no, all, it's all sex and drugs. It is. Yeah. Okay. All right. Every yeah. single song is sex and drugs. When we were like, shake it off. Sex and drugs. I don't know that song. If we were, um, I don't. You know, shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Hey. (laughs) (laughs) No. It's uh, Taylor Swift. uh, I'm I'm a Swifty. She's um, she's going to win the Super Bowl this year. She's (laughs) involved in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Well, yeah, she's involved in some other stuff too. But sex and drugs. She drinks blood. Did you know this? She's in like a coven. She like drank blood. Yeah. It's like a whole thing. That checks out. Yeah. I'm not even making that up. <laughs> um, allegedly. You have to say allegedly. Mm, I don't know. I think it's pretty locked down tight. <laughs> She's like animal blood. No, like human blood. Her own blood. No, Where does she get so. this blood? There's places. Okay. <laughs> so um, the blood bank. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was going to go there, but is that funny? No. I, oh, okay. That's where you get blood. It's yeah. the blood bank. Okay. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, There's probably a Hollywood blood bank. Just a, <laughs> got to be. I, we, we shouldn't go too far in this. Allegedly. I'm not afraid to get canceled as a show. I don't want to get canceled as a person. 
Like I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to just get you know taken yeah. out while I'm walking down the street. Of, okay. Of anybody to get canceled over, I could not be more proud to get canceled over Taylor Swift. Sure. Is she good? No. At what she does? No. At what she does? Like sings? Yeah. Well, she's not bad. Stella, you like Taylor Swift? There's no, no. judgment here. You don't? No, okay. she's not a Taylor Swifty. You know, I don't get it. I've been listening to a lot of politics. Also, she's like really in the in the news right now for a lot of stuff. Really? Yeah. Well, she she's pushing for Biden, right? No. Well, no. No, she made a Biden cookie. But like, she's like tang- tans and gently kind of conservative. Is a Biden cookie like you eat it and then you immediately forget what it tasted like? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or you immediately crap your pants and fall down. <laughs> it's, like a, it's, like a, it's like a Willy Wonka kind of strange flavor that does something to you. You start talking about your arm hairs in the water. It's really yeah. yeah. Jesse okay. had one right before the butt cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember doing it. I think we got a name to the show. Should we do um, the Netflix suggestion yeah. or is it too Already? early? It's, we're 30 minutes Listen, in. What? It's, yeah. It's, what? It's, Time flies when you're um, trying to make this thing go as fast as possible. (laughs) 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 Netflix, Netflix, watch these shows of the ones. Netflix, Netflix, maybe Hulu Plus. Netflix, Netflix, watch these shows with us. Netflix, Netflix, maybe who would have blessed? Or maybe it, Amazon Prime the time or in. something like the that. Like, dude, just one. Just one. We don't want to put a box around up, what up you watch, so Top you never know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, it's it's just like not exactly how I pictured my life in a lot of ways, you know. What are you doing? Be real, dude. Oh, is it be real time? Oh, no. It, this is from a while ago. Okay. Uh, no, don't do that. Uh, are we Jason, done? what is your Netflix suggestion? <laughs> Did you get it? Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Got oh it. My goodness. Jason, what is your Netflix suggestion? My of Netflix week? suggestion of the week. I got to take this out. First of all, I don't. Con- <laughs> <laughs> let me just, just on the record. I enjoy it, but I'm going to need to save it for later. Let yeah. me just on the record say. As so, we have show stances uh-huh. like we're against um, Nazis yeah. officially. Um, fine, mostly, you know, we uh, like officially. They as a did show. a lot of really great things. Yeah, mm-hmm. the well, Volkswagen Bug. Yeah, come on. Duh. Did the Nazis make that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh man, you have to rethink um, this. The interstate highway system. So we're against it. No, that's what the Nazis yeah. did. I don't like it, the interstate highway system. I'm what? against it. I think it's the bad for society. Audubon? Yeah. Um, we can talk about that another time. Okay. I we'll, we'll get uh, Ray's stance on. We'll Nazis. get Ray's stance on Nazis <laughs> and on the Civil War. We're gonna yeah. nail him down. Yeah. We, we're gonna make him. He's been evading these questions <laughs> for too long. And Marion, yeah. no. America yeah. deserves to know where Ray Grogan stands on the Civil War. And on Nazis. Yeah. Um, we're uh, against Nazis as a show. So some things as a show we're yeah. against, uh, but then we're individuals. Yeah. You're an individual person. I'm an individual person. Y- you know, uh, so is J- Jesse, you know. He's um, two individuals. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Um, that was decent. Yeah, it was all right. Uh, you know, uh, let me just say, you know, I think th- that's stupid. I think it's like, you know, the height of ignorance, but. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. Okay. All right. What's your Netflix suggestion? Shelby and I are sitting down to watch something, as we do. As you do. And we're floating through Amazon. Because typically we float through Netflix. And if you, my suggestion is Amazon. And if yours is the same as mine, and it might be. It could be. Because what I'm going to suggest, you would both like. Uh, I think it might be the same. Are you serious? I think it might be. Okay. So listen, <laughs> we're floating through uh-huh. Amazon. Uh huh. Clicking through. Yeah. And we see uh-huh. a picture, like the album cover. Yeah. And I said, look, that's our comedian. Oh, sorry. It's uh, not the same thing. That's Kevin James. Sure. Mm-hmm. She goes, that's not the same Kevin James. I said, it is. That's the same. It's that's called Ke- Irregardless. Irregardless. Yeah. And she goes, that's not Kevin James. I said, that is Kevin James. Yeah, it is. We clicked it, and it pulls up, and it is Kevin James. Mm-hmm. And she goes, he lost weight. Yeah. 
right? We were just talking about this, comedians not losing weight. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. As I'm watching him perform, Mm -hmm. I'm looking at him. He's probably still 280. Yeah, right. He he lost weight. He was a big dude. He was a big dude. Mm -hmm. So skinny Kevin James, 280 pounds, Mm -hmm. did a stand-up called Irregardless. He's funny. He is hilarious. Mm -hmm. And it was honestly clean, clean. Yeah. I think Mm -hmm. all my kids could have watched it. I would be okay with it. Mm -hmm. Usually stuff like that, we'll watch it first. Sure. Then allow the kids to watch. Okay. He's who I would choose if they were doing a movie about my life. Yeah. He is who I would choose to play adult me. Mm -hmm. I could see that. I'd love to have Kevin James on the show. That's not impossible. No, we could get him on. If anybody knows Kevin, tell him I'm a big fan. Yeah. We'd love to have you on the show. Absolutely. All right. It was very good. Okay. Very funny. So uh, my suggestion is one that I think you and your wife will both like. Is it, it Repair Shop? It is called... I love the Repair Shop. I could just yeah. sit down and watch the Repair Shop all day, every day. <laughs> yeah. Just on repeat. <laughs> That's There's like five seasons. Yeah. I could just start on episode one, season one. Yeah. Just rip through them all and just start again. Yeah. It makes me so happy. Yeah. It's just warm, fuzzy feelings on the inside. It's like I have this sense like, you know what? A lot of bad stuff happening in the world today, yeah. but I think everything's going to be okay. Because these guys are repairing things. Because that guy just repaired a toy fire truck. <laughs> And then the person cried. And it's always like restrained British emotion. Yeah. Like, oh, blimey. I think I'm going to tear up now. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> and they're always like apologizing, yeah. you know, for, for like nothing. Yeah. You know, like, oh, you know. Anyway. Not the repair shop. Although not, that's worth although, watching. Yeah. What I'm, I will say the repair shop is better than what I'm going to suggest. Oh. Or what I ever could suggest. It's the best. It's not even TV. It's like no. beyond television. <laughs> anyway, um, my suggestion is a documentary. That's what we're doing right now. Beyond, beyond television. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's right. I think it's below. <laughs> I don't know. Man. Um, so. <laughs> I, uh, that hurt. That hurt, it, Preston. It, yeah. Um, we'll talk later. <laughs> I, uh, it's a documentary. Okay. It's called War on the Diamond. Ooh. Okay. Is this. Can I take a guess? Yeah. Artificial versus natural diamonds? No. Uh, nope. It's basically diamonds are v- completely worthless. Is that what it is? Oh. No. Oh. It is about because there's a big there's a big controversy right now. Yeah. Artificial diamonds versus real diamonds. I prefer artificial, and I've made that very clear to Erica, but <laughs> 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 she still doesn't see the light. <laughs> We've had a lot of discussions about it. I said, honey, it's just as good as a real diamond. Yeah. If you can't tell the difference, why do we care? <laughs> Who cares if it turns your finger green? I don't care. It looks like a diamond. It's called War on the Diamond. Okay. And it is about Ray Chapman. Do you know who Ray Chapman is? No. Anybody? Mm-hmm. Anybody? Is he Anybody? the official that was throwing NBA games? Ah, oh, no. That's um. What is that guy's name? Look up name of the Tim Donahue. Yeah, yep, that's Tim Donahue. Yeah. Tim yeah. Donahue. That's a good documentary. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. that's Th- a really the thirty good for thirty. One. Yeah, I was like, that's one of those thirty for thirties that once you start, you're like, well, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, now. <laughs> like yeah. whatever I was doing, I'm not doing it because yeah. I'm doing this. Um, Ray Chapman, 1920, baseball player for the Cleveland Indians. Okay, he's playing against the New York Yankees. Ball hits him in the head, dies. Wow. Ooh. He's the only player in all of Major League Baseball to ever die um, from a baseball injury. You know, he not he didn't die on the uh, the field. He died later in a hospital in New York City, like later that night. But, but it's also the 1920s. This is the 1920s. Yeah. They, the, the ball hit him in the head. Yeah. And um, they said that everybody on the diamond thought that, or everybody at the field at the polo grounds that day, thought he got a hit because the, they think, it was the crack of the bat is what they heard. Yeah. It was his head. Yeah. Oh. And um, they said blood started coming out of he his... He was hitting? He was hitting, and he was leaning into bunt. Okay. And the pitcher um, that... Uh, something Mays, Carl Mays, I think was the pitcher. He's a submarine sidearm yeah, yeah, pitcher, yeah. and he was known for throwing up and in on people. In fact, nobody liked this guy. Yeah. He was widely disliked in the league. And uh, after it happened, he refused to apologize. Yeah. He's like, he did it. He was leaning in. Yeah. The ball was up, and he he was leaning in the strike zone. He did it. Right. And in fact, they tried to uh, ban him from baseball. They tried to even bring like a lawsuit against him. But only Ray Chapman's family said, no, it's not his fault. And this is, you know, Ray's playing. A... So, um, so anyway, it was crazy uh, story. And um, they said l- they took him to the hospital later, and uh, they tried to like 
you know, like look into it. They cut in and they pulled out a piece of bone out of his head. Oh my God. And they said when they pulled out the piece of bone that his blood pressure like leveled, they thought, oh, it's going to be okay. But then he yeah. died a like, couple hours later. So the story's crazy, but it's a good documentary because it tells that story while telling the history of the Indians Yankees rivalry. Hmm. So it's like bouncing throughout all of the years, basically every time that the Indians and the Yankees were both good and talking about, you know, the the games and the matchups and how there's this there's this there's a more of a rivalry between the Cleveland Indians and the New York Yankees than you would assume, even as a you know, person who's pretty familiar with the Indians. So it's kind of like the history of the Indians, uh, specifically the Indians Yankees rivalry and uh, the story of Ray Chapman, who is the only player to die from an on field injury. It's on Netflix. It's called War on the Diamond. It's very good. I highly suggest it. If you like baseball, which I do, it's very good. So for those who are not baseball fans, the mm-hmm. diamond is what you call the field. That's the field. You yeah. play on the diamond. Yeah, yeah. Not everybody would know that. Okay. Did you guys know that? Yeah, I knew that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I figured. See, I knew people wouldn't okay. know that. Yeah. I'm like, where's the diamonds come in? Okay. It's yeah. a baseball diamond. <laughs> also, tragedy. Can I give it away? Nobody cares, right? Yeah. Spoiler alert. He had just recently gotten married mm. a couple years before, and his wife, right before he took off, told her told him that she was pregnant. Oh. He's on the road trip, then he dies, and then she dies of a disease yeah. later, and then their kid dies, like, after that, like, five years after that. Of a di- I mean, it's like a tragedy, the yeah. whole thing. But the story's really good, and uh, it's, it's really interesting, really well told. We're on the diamond, Amazon Prime. Got highly it. suggest it. Got it. Do you guys have one? Yeah, I got one. I've been watching this uh, Peacock original. I think it's original. But it's on Peacock. It's called La Brea. And it's about a sinkhole. The, the tar pits? The La Brea yes. tar pits. Yeah. Yes. I know that because of Bugs Bunny. Yeah. yeah. So it's about I should have took a left at the La Brea tar pits. Yeah. Right. It's about a sinkhole that opens up. At the bottom of the sinkhole is a time warp, mm. like a time thing. I could see that coming. And they go back to, the people who fall in, go back to 10,000 BC. Yeah. Dinosaurs. And there's dinosaurs, and there's, but there's all these twists and turns. Like, there's a lot going on. Like, if you were to explain every aspect, it's like, oh, this sounds like too much. But they really wrap it up really good. Is I think this a documentary? Jesse, no. It doesn't, it sounds pretty simple. Actually, it doesn't sound well, like Well, the, the, the guy time. that's try, well, the guy's trying dinosaurs. to save his family. No, no we get it. Well, get this. The guy, there's a guy <laughs> on the other side trying to save his family and get them home. In uh-huh. the recent then, times or the old times? He's in the recent times. Yeah. yeah. But mm, okay. while they're there, <laughs> that's going to be a, a constant, <laughs> isn't it? Just like butt cheese. Yep. On the other side, they meet this kid from a village because these time warps have been opening up for a long time. So there's different groups okay. of people. Okay. One of the kids yeah. is him. And so in season yeah, this one. this is all standard time warp stuff. In season one, they have to get the kid <laughs> through another time warp so that the husband yeah. continues to exist yeah. and his kids don't die. But they have to jump in the hole at 88 miles an hour. No. Oh. Okay. They just have to walk into it. Okay. So, so it's not, but it's it's good, and and season season one ended with a lady showing this guy that there's this like really high advanced, like high technologically advanced building there in 10,000 BC. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. Is it Atlantis? Well, I, in my back this point, we know that there was maybe. ancient technology yeah. beyond what we have. Come today. on, yeah. that's they had lasers. Come on, laser guns. How do you think they made the pyramids? Yeah, you lasers. Think they, you think they? No. Knocked those out with no. a hammer and a vroom, chisel? Vroom, vroom. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. It was... Vroom, vroom, vroom. Yeah. <laughs> vroom, vroom. I'm just going to do this for the next 10 minutes. Vroom, vroom. It's a very fun sound to make. Preston, do you have a suggestion? I do. Uh-huh. Uh, recently watched The Thing again. The Thing again? The, the thing. movie, The Thing. Oh, The Thing. Yeah. The okay. old one. Yeah. Is that the... What is The Thing? What is... What is? It's, what kind of monster is The it's Thing? It's an alien. It, it's, it's like, like a brrr, like, like an it, alien with arms and legs. It becomes other people, so like it oh. becomes who it consumes kind of deal. I've seen it. It's good. Yeah, it's a good movie. What's it on? It's on Netflix. My okay. favorite of the old ones is the creature from the Blue Lagoon, Black Lagoon. But the creature from the I like Black the Lagoon. Swamp Thing. Yeah. Swamp, swamp Thing's, thing's good. cool. That's yeah. good. I like the creature from Creature from Black Lagoon Black is solid. I'm a big fan of the Teddy creature. doesn't like it. Oh, so yeah. I watch it anytime I get a chance. Sure, yeah. it's a wonderful movie. Um, hmm. I got more stuff. Let's do it. Okay, if you could permanently change... Oh, I did want to do the Mount Rushmore of dinosaurs, though. 
Let's do it. Because Jesse was talking about dinosaurs. I knew there was something I was leaving. I just couldn't remember. Stegosaurus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I mean, Tyrannosaurus Rex is the George Washington, right? And Raptor. Velociraptor. Yeah. T-Rex mm. and Raptor. That's the Washington yep. Lincoln. Brontosaurus. I think the Brontosaurus Brachiosaurus. is right there. No, no, no. no, 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 no Brontosaurus. No, 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 is yeah. that I mean, the long neck? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the like, standard long okay. neck one. There's other kinds. So those are your... Th- oh, Triceratops. I, mm. Yeah, I feel like I the Triceratops is above the Stegosaurus. I mean, maybe... Like, the, do I like a Stegosaurus better? Yeah. Yeah, I like a Stegosaurus better. What about the Pterodactyl? Spinosaurus. I guess pretty sick. I don't know what that is. No, are there sick, amazingly cool dinosaurs? Yeah, <laughs> there's so many. But the Mount Rushmore? It's iconic. It's T Rex. Raptor. It's Raptor. It's Brontosaurus. And Triceratops. And Triceratops. That's it. Do you remember falling off the bed? Yeah. Onto the, onto the plastic dinosaur? Yeah. I think it was a uh, Stegosaurus. It was a Stegosaurus. And it still might be in me. <laughs> I fell off the bunk. You cried and cried. Yeah, and I laughed anybody and laughed. Cry. Yeah. Like I remember mom coming in, like, what happened? Mm-hmm. Like I fell on a dinosaur. Johnny like, Knox- what is a dinosaur doing there? I don't know. Johnny Knoxville wouldn't do that. <laughs> no. He might. What should, what do you want to talk about? Okay. You can permanently change the price of one item to one dollar. What is it? I think it's gas. Mm-mm. A gallon of gas yeah. for one dollar. Do you, do you know how that changes everything? Listen, I understand how that works. No, do you understand how that works? Yeah. No. An Just, ounce of gold. No, but then it's worth. No, that waters everything. Yeah, that yeah. waters. Oh, everyone gets it for a dollar. Yes. Yeah. The uh, price, everything, the price changes. I feel to like $1. it's gas because then the price of everything comes. Well, down. you would think so, but the greedy corporate overlords well, I know, would but keep somebody's it high. going to profit. Like somebody's going to offer savings because they'll still be able to make a lot of money and they'll undercut. But what if like Papa John's a large Papa John's pizza for one dollar? I like Papa mm-hmm. John's. You do or don't? I do. Yeah. It's a good. dollar pizza? Okay, I hear you. But all the money you save on gas, you could just buy more pizzas. Dude, all the money you could save on pizza, you could just buy more gas. <laughs> <laughs> all the pizzas yeah. I eat would give me free gas. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to argue with that. I don't know. I, I think what, What's your answer? I think gas is an obvious one, but I think like a food item, you would never go hungry. You would yeah. always have the capability of eating something. Okay. A dollar for a large pizza? I like to go like, yeah, for something then like steak like a like a good steak as a like a but buck. are you gonna eat a steak every day like, yes i would mm-hmm. i'd eat pizza every day pizza there's just so much stuff you can get on pizza yeah you guys don't drive very far to work do you well you do yeah i do I preston don't. drives about as far as i do i would take the dollar gas I drive an hour every day Dude. yeah that's but on the, you but you I think, does gas make you happy yes pizza no. makes me pizza happy. makes you happy yeah Pizza's always going to be there for you. I can't <laughs> eat pizza. I'm diabetic. I can't eat pizza. Mm. Can you drink gas? <laughs> Good. I think Aaron's the one that said, hey, hey, Ron, he's going to be on the show soon. I think he said the reason why you can't drink gasoline, allegedly, the reason why you can't drink gasoline is the calorie count is so high. Like if you drink a, a, a glass of Look gasoline. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, I know, ha, has said this. So and I disagreed with him. He's saying that the the reason you can't drink <laughs> gas, yes, is because the calorie count of gas is so high that it will like, like y- overwhelm you. It will overwhelm you. He said like a cup of gasoline is like a million calories. Really? Yeah. And that's why it kills. That's you? what Aaron says. I can't argue that because I don't know. No. How many calo- <laughs> no. How many calories? What's the nutritional facts on a cup of gas? Well, that I'll look up in a second. It's probably nothing. Uh huh. Um, but no, it's just it can lead to. Uh, Having like pneumonia, uh, yeah, pneumonia and pneumonia, yeah, and lung damage. Yeah, maybe yeah. from the calorie count. So look up how many calories are in gasoline. <laughs> That's what we want to know. That's what, Aaron or as says. the Brits say, petrol. Yeah. I feel like I'd rather say petrol. No, because I feel like gas. There are other things that are gas. Is petrol also diesel? That I don't know because the word for that would just be fuel. I would say oh. petrol and diesel. Dear God. Oh, yeah. What's, whoa, it, yeah, what's whoa, it say? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Controversy going down right yeah. now. Whoa. What's what it say? It? He's not entirely wrong. No, he's not. <laughs> How many calories? For a gallon of gas, it contains 31,536,000 yeah. calories. So, That's what Aaron said. A, gas, a, ca- a, a cup of gasoline is like a million calories. So if I take a tablespoon of gas... It's like, it's like I don't 100, need to eat all day, or maybe like fifty thousand. Is maybe it like, for a week? Is it like Elvish whey bread? Is that what, what that it is? is? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Uh-huh. It is. Like, yeah, it is. So like maybe like a like a drop of so, gasoline. So so could somebody get fat by drinking gasoline? <laughs> yeah. No, if they just had like had it on like a like a like a you know droplet a dropper, or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and they just have like a drop of gasoline, which would be like twenty thousand calories or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it'd sustain you for a couple days. Would it? Well, I according to Google. I mean I don't think it's very nutritious, but Well, okay. listen, I'm not suggest allegedly. So do cars run on calories? Do Dude, yeah. there's like a there's like a million calories in a cup of gas. That's yeah. what Aaron says. So yes. can I put like mm, that's interesting. Well, no, two million. Yeah. Aaron's, Aaron's. Well, it depends on the size Aaron, of the glass. Eight ounces, obviously, obviously. and obviously. the grade of the fuel. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe that's the difference between the grade of fuel. It's just more calories. Yeah, for the higher. Dude, we're at the end of a show. Do you want to squeeze anything in? Uh, I've got something that's I, pretty good. Man, I got a whole list here. I should have. Sometimes I'm at Costco at the end of my trip. Yeah. These people, it's like, could you just pretend to look at what's in my cart faster? Because <laughs> <laughs> they're not really not. checking. You know? Yeah. Are they checking? I think they just want to. I think the training, I'd like to make a training video. We yeah. should do this. Yeah. Make a training video of the people that, that check your receipt at the end of the Costco trip. <laughs> Let me just hold and they on. got the highlighter. And they're, they're just want to check and stuff, like lift stuff yeah. up. Oh, oh. I think the whole point is they want me to feel like, hey, they're really looking at stuff. But they're not looking at stuff. In here. They're just pretending to look yeah. at stuff. And so sometimes I'm like, listen, there's 100 people here. Yeah. Nobody wants to watch you pretend to look at this for 30 seconds every single time. Just look at it, get the thing, and let's just go. Yeah. Come on. So that's not really a, a fully formed uh, something, but it's something. Uh, that's it. That's a show. That's Jason. a show. Next week, Ray Grogan, or the week after that. Yeah, yes, Ray will be on. Also, Cody something. from Daffy Down Industries mm-hmm. said he would like to be. Oh, a guest, well, that's good. So. We should have Cody on the show. Is he funny. Yes, yeah, funny. Okay, we'll allow it. <laughs> it's funnier than press. <laughs> Hasn't stopped us from having other people on. Um, but he's funny. So this is Dan signing off for Jason, reminding you to always keep your stick on the ice and never wear the blue sweats. So, but, but, so, good dog. I have spoken. Good night, Lower Patch Kids. And especially you, especially you, Mr. Giblets. Oh, yeah. You handsome devil. <laughs> I like how at the end of the last episode.